Hello everybody. I want to talk about uh, getting the most out of the reading tab. You know, it's pretty cool to learn to play other people's songs, and uh, but it can be really hard just to listen and try to figure it out. And uh, so it's better to have a guide and tablature is a way that you can learn, uh, but you also get to exercise your ear because it's not always quite as easy as you think it might be when you got it written out. Now, I'm assuming that the reason you'd use tab as opposed to uh, actually just, you know, music being written out, like reading music, is because you don't know how to read music. <laughs> or sometimes maybe you find the tab instead of actual uh, music being written out. Either way, uh, it comes with its own set of challenges to read tabs. So uh, let's, let's talk about it. Now, one thing we want, might want to go ahead and distinguish from the beginning is, is this music where the guitar is prominent and you can always hear what the guitar is doing uh, or is it a case where sometimes the guitar gets a little buried and it's not, not as maybe the main focus all the time so you got like an accordion or something <laughs> and so as a result you might think that music that is uh, the guitar is a lot easier means the tabs easier and well <laughs> that can be a little deceiving because for one if it's a case where the guitar is a little more buried in the mix, you might have a little bit harder time figuring out what it's supposed to sound like and matching up with it. Uh, at least that gives you a larger margin of error because nobody else enough you're fucking it up either. But anyway, I'm going to show you some ways, and they'll actually apply to any kind of tab that you're looking at um, <laughs> to help you out. Now, first thing that I would think about when looking at tab is that it might be wrong, especially if you're uh, looking on the internet somewhere, so you might want to try to get a uh, source that you think would be good, something official, or a, uh, you know, Guitar World, or something like that, I don't, I don't know who the, I don't know the fucking tab thing, I don't learn <laughs> too many people's music, my dude sucks anyway, so I ain't no good at playing other people's music, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't admit that, <laughs> but anyway, so let's say we want to learn to play this uh, Counting Crows here, and, uh, you know what I said about sometimes it's easier guitar stuff? Look at that, look at, look at all that craziness right there, like all that craziness. Well, something to think about is that sometimes if you got some strumming, you might not have to do it exactly as it shows here, you know? Uh, how, how, how tight are you trying to get it there? You know, if you're, if you're playing some Metallica or something that's uh, more riff based like that, you, you are going to want to hit as close to exactly what they're doing because it's going to stand out more, but if, you, if it's something that's more like a strumming kind of thing, it, there's a certain point where nobody's going to be like, you know, I don't think he's strumming that exactly right. And the more it's a big time strumly strew, you know, then the more that it's not going to matter if you're hitting it exactly right. So give yourself permission sometimes whenever you're looking at any of this to not do what it says. Because even, even in the case where it's stuff that you can hear the guitar well, and uh, you know exactly what it sounds like. Uh, Eric Johnson himself is notorious for trying to find the best place on the neck to play something because you know the notes repeat themselves. So uh, they may or may not be uh, correct because I don't think the actual uh, players <laughs> are writing these books, <laughs> let's be honest. So it's somebody else that was listening to it trying to figure out what was going on. I don't know, sometimes there might be some approval. I have no idea how that works, but. I doubt too many guitar players are sitting down and playing these things out, even the official ones going, oh, I don't know, man, right there, I do something a little bit different. So, that's really a good guide, though. Now, other things, speaking of guides, that you probably want to do is, because sometimes these get really confusing about which part you go to next, you go from here to here, and the little dot, dots here, and a repeat out coda, and you're like, what the fuck does any of this mean, rhythm figure one? Well, so, using the lyrics themselves, is a good way. If it's lyric based music, you know, it's more based on the singing, then uh, that's going to be easier to follow along with where you're at. And then a lot of times they'll have the chord names up top. That can help you out if you're doing a little bit of strumming along with it. Sometimes at the beginning they'll actually have the chords mapped out for you there, you know, so bonus. Um, from there, you're just going to look to match up whatever you can and then just keep working your way outward. Don't be surprised that, uh, you know, you see things, maybe not so much in this, but different little 
pieces where it's just a short little guitar part here and there where they just kind of went back and added a little snippet here and added a little something there. And keep in mind, if you're playing that, you don't always have to put all of those in there. Those are just things to sometimes just repeating something that's already being played by the guitar anyway. So, anyway, so learn a bunch of songs that you always wanted to learn how to play with Tab. And, uh, that'll be a great time! is going backward to a life without a care Tried to find a memory, but it wasn't there Maybe it's something I don't know, maybe I don't care Maybe it's something you should have grown, maybe you should share 